Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 match between um, somebody, I Ravel and his Chofs and Le Bread Mask and his Dwarves. In the booth with me is Kalon. hello. Hello Jim, lovely rock to start off, uh, immediately tilting uh, poor old Tom Schniss. Yes, he's already got his excuses in in chat before this match started, so he's going to play terribly because he's hung over and he's ill, and yep. uh, his cat just died. I, mean, I don't know if that's yep. true, but you know. Just, uh, just skill plays, just giving us the old excuse. It's normally just the, oh, I was watching Netflix with my uh, on a date, is his standard go-to template of how he plays all Blood Bowl, because that gives him an excuse for why he's shit then. <laughs> but uh, he was in chat beforehand, YouTube, uh, telling us all that he's um, he was actually shit-faced drunk yesterday and is really hung over. Yep. So um, that, that excuses all of the rest of it. Doesn't yeah. excuse the fact that he's playing dwarves. True, true. Yeah. Hasn't eaten, hasn't you know, slept. No, he hasn't slept either. Just got but home two hours also, ago. He's a French Canadian as well, so I mean, my respect for him is, uh, you know. He's already non-existent. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty low down. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair. <laughs> Glorious. So yeah, um, Le Bread Mask is Tom Schniz. He has got a wizard and an apple and these two stars uh, the, yeah. the boomer and Barrack Farblast Barrett. yeah and he's got some guard and some mighty bones some stand firm as you would expect from a dwarf team uh I Ravel has a claw pommer and really nice ch chorfs actually is this is actually yeah. this is the really nice chorf team isn't it that's still there it is yeah nice ball carrier 14 players. lovely ball carrier 14 players yeah and Beautiful the, the bulls are both both spectacular as well uh, yeah, it's definitely the best of the Chorf teams that are left. It was funny, the um, he did pop into chat after the last game and was talking about how, like, because people were going, well, it's just, you know, you can do it another couple of skills. And he's like, no, we've just been spoiled by Crucifer teams. Yes. yeah. And yeah. he's he's not wrong. Like, that is that is the case. Yeah, it's a um, real good team. Uh, it I, it might team. be the only Chorf left, to be honest. I'm not sure if he's the best Chorf left, but I think it was the best Chorf team that was in the cup. Yes, um, uh, and it, it it also is the only team, left, the only Chorf team left, I think. Mm. But uh, yeah, so it's it's cool and uh, and nice of them as well to have popped in and tell us that it is indeed pronounced uh, Air Reveal. <laughs> is it? No. <laughs> it's it's uh, it's I I Reveal. I Reveal. Yeah. Also, Kaz didn't drive home. Oh, that's that's that's. Maybe okay. He, he was talking about driving home, wasn't he? Uh, yesterday he was one one two. He was zero one two even after day one, and he was talking about he was going to drive home. But I guess it's good that he changed his mind. Uh, not so good that he's lost them both. No. Or maybe he didn't. Maybe he hasn't lost them both. Maybe that that's just what he is. Maybe he did drive home, and maybe that's why he's lost them both. If, he, if, <laughs> if you've just seen on the website store, I've just realised if so, looking at the website, maybe he just maybe he did just drive. Home. That's only a silly old board game weekend if you're having fun and out for points with the lads, isn't that all that matters? I think he just, no, I think I think he drove home. I think he was pissed off and drove home. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, he probably isn't literally 0-1-4. He, he went 0-1-2 he went and then uh, and hated Blood Bowl. And he's like, make sure there's no Blood Bowl at Gym Con. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes it can be like that, you know. Um, Especially when you, you there's nothing worse than arriving at a 40k event when you know you're going to be playing tough games for the weekend, and in your first game you realise that there's something wrong with your list and it doesn't work. Oof. Have you ever? I, I, it's never happened to me because you know I play tested and stuff, but um, I've been with people when they're away for a weekend, going like, oh shit, this well, just doesn't work. What I and did I'm was, kind of what I, now. shall I tell you what I did? I haven't played uh, 40k for seven years. Yes. And uh, I looked at the chaos. I was looking at some codexes because my friend was talking right. about going to a tournament. Yeah. And looking through the codexes, I saw the uh, chaos codex with the Slanesh demon prince with the whip of Sl lash of Slanesh or whatever. The, yeah. The, yeah. And I was like, oh my god, this is completely broken. Lash of mission. Lash of mission. Yes. Thank you very much. The the Slanesh demon prince. Yeah. With the yeah. mark of Slanesh. Lash of yep. submission, brilliant. Thank you very much. Hello, Skuro. And I was like, oh my god, this is busted. We have to have two of these. There goes the stand firm. Uh, ooh, and a niggle. That's an Apo, and the Apo does work, but yep. that's the Apo gone for Tom Schnees. One of them gone, yep. Oh, he does have a spare. Yep, but yeah, big I, big hit. I'm seeing some obliterators in their future. Uh, no, there was no obliterators. No, I also, and then I got, uh, you know, loads of Plague Marines. And oh, very good. Yep. My friend, I, I listened to my friend. Who said that? Um, oh, soul, not soul grinders. Uh, they were like soul grinders. We got soul grinders to represent oh, them. 
Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, it'll, it'll come to me. Mm. Um, so these big defiler, tanks, defilers, 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 yeah, defilers. And then, so I made the army list, and then we had yep. one. We had one practice match. Yep. And I was like, oh shit, we need rhinos for all of the all of the plague marines. Yeah. So yeah. then we we went and we like added five we added five rhinos to the army. And then that was it. And then we went there and it worked perfectly. And and yes, the to be fair, the defilers weren't great because that isn't the part that was the part that I didn't contribute to, basically. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But it's good that I just randomly found you know, I didn't randomly found I found yeah, like a tournament works. staple army instantly. And then you do this, and then you do this, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah um, Lash 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 Prince O Blitz were uh, was a was a staple of uh, of of the Chaos Codex for, for quite a number of years. Mm. Uh, really, really good. Yeah. Had a nice chat this morning with the boys about the whole um, leagues of Votan thing and how they're coming out and uh, Yeah, they're 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 immediately being nerfed because they were so busted. Yeah, it's funny that isn't it? Um, yeah, so they, they they put so little time into playtesting it that they didn't uh, playtest it at all. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. But why should they? So, they're a miniatures company. Yeah, they're a miniatures company, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they recently fired their whole uh, playtesting team because uh, for 40k because uh, there was information being leaked. And they were like, well, we're not having any of that, so... Yeah, fair it's enough. Pretty, I, it's, it's pretty funny. They're a miniatures company. Well, you know, the last thing you need is them. Yeah. Like, you don't need them playtesting things. You just need them not leaking things, don't you? That's literally all you need. It's way more important that they don't leak than they test properly, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, yes, yeah, so it's, it's just it's, a, it's an ongoing concern. There was a period where um, I didn't have to be an apologist about uh, Blood Bowl, about Games Workshop for about four or five years. I was like, no, actually, they're kind of okay. <laughs> and now they're back to being, you know, Games Workshop of old, bunch of fucking assholes who don't know anything <laughs> and uh, are just in it for the cash. Mm. And uh, yeah, but it's 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 annoying for the new kids because they haven't been around and hadn't seen it before. The new kids on the Lovely, block. Lovely, uh, yeah, the, and KOTB by. Yes. Um, nice hit on that guy and doesn't follow up. Uh, mm. Norm break obviously he is down a chorf here in this yeah so it's I mean it's 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 a small amount of progression but not really yeah I missed this guy going he, he's missed yeah. next as well missed Ooh, next so did I yeah and, uh, didn't apple him no he did apple his uh, his and uh, hello Rick Baseman uh, how do you do not bad thanks not bad. Yeah, it was uh, it was it was such a nice little period of time, the WTK, um, and now they're just shit again. But sure, we've got Steel Quirrell, Steve Matty here, right in the middle of that. Oh no, maybe they're okay. They just folded his game. No such thing as Warhammer Fantasy anymore. <laughs> the bastards! The bastards! <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah. Why? Why? I don't know how I'm trying to make trying to make a familiar voice, which means that I'm pretending to be Spanish, which means for some reason I put a at the sound of the word why. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it makes no sense. How do you want to sp sound how does a Spanish person sound when they say why? They say why for some reason. <laughs> why? <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just lazy um, stereotypes. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the the why was incredible, but it was. I it mean, was it's impossible. Exactly. To, it's impossible to replicate because it was just so heartfelt. That was that yes. was the gloriousness of it. <laughs> it was. It was amazing. I do like uh, the old uh, shouting. Butros butros Cali. At at Chivite at every opportunity. <laughs> you were too busy yapping about unrelated forty bloody k. Well, I do apologise, okay, Michael. It, you know, it's hard to focus on it. Little children's game when we there we had important things to discuss like uh, other children's, children's game. game. Yep. <laughs> hey, so, see the thing is, uh, academical that uh, we're able to multitask. So we're watching this game with our eyes and we're talking and uh, and, and having a conversation with our ears. <laughs> so uh, you just need to get on our level, and uh, you know, other streams are available. <laughs> 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 Sorry, buddy. It's just easy for me to say because I'm not. It's not my stream, so I can say it. You know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, he's got to stand um, firm. It'd be nice to have does, yeah. pushed him in, and then you could get an extra hit on him. But he, he, he must not. He must have not realised he had to stand firm. Hmm. 
Oh, does stand firm. Ooh. I guess you could have just done the wrong thing and not stood firm, so you still got Yeah, or maybe he wanted him to stand firm so that he could uh, keep that guy there, but I don't think he did because he wanted to get in with the guard, didn't he? Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather push away the strength four bull to be honest. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, once you've seen that he's got stand firm, I'd rather just push the bull away. Oh wow, he's going forward. Oh boy. Boy howdy. Oh, rowdy. This is rowdy. Well he's got some PCs to make around the back as well. And mm. uh those bulls can get in. That is a strength, uh, strength five bull. Um, ooh, just. No, he's safe. He's yeah, safe. He, yeah, he's safe. He needs to double dodge. Unless he pals him and pals him, then he's then he can go through. Then he can one. just go through the back. Four, yeah. Five, six, seven, yeah. So if he pals him and pals him, he goes through the back with him. But no, uh, no. Uh... Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. No guard on the bulls is a little bit of problematic for that though, so he's gonna have to throw some one dice there. Oh no, he's, he's just gonna power. He's just gonna power them. Yeah, he just has to power them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Hero clicks forty k. Obviously, yeah. Um, I play marines. I've got a I've got a large marine army, um, which means I can play any type of marines. Um, I can take. I can play any marine. No. Uh, Do you know who'd hate that? Are, um, you. Skuro Metzo. Skuro Metzo. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, everything's kind of, uh, it's, so it's my own chapter, and then I've got all of the toys for whatever, so there's no actual proxying going on at all. Mm. Just, um, I just have all of the toys, and they're all painted the same color, so that I can use them as whatever I need to. <laughs> Motherfucker! Yeah. 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 I'm, I mean, I'm the same when it comes to Marines, but, yeah. uh, and then I was not a fan uh, of that. No, he isn't, no. But then, uh, oh, hey, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> See you. Winner 358, ladies and gentlemen, has been summoned, <laughs> and, uh, great to see you. <laughs> um, and uh, I also play uh, Elder and Quins. Well, I'm working on my Quins at the moment. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, the Quins is a cool project I've got to work on. I've got a really cool idea for it. I'm trying to make Grimdark Quins. It's a cool idea. Mm. Mm. Do you know what I did? I um, I remember, you know when Eldar came out? Um, mm. This was a while ago, but this was when I was back playing again, like probably a decade ago. Um, mm -hmm. Harlequins, not Harlequins came out, Eldar came out, and they were like, they were OP with Wraith Knights and everything. Yes. And I was like, I want to buy an Eldar army because I knew I'd always liked Eldar and I didn't yeah. know how I was, how was going to paint them. And I was like, I had an idea of how I was going to paint them and I couldn't remember how I was going to paint them. So I ended up not getting them and just getting Necr uh, Necrons who were then like nerfed mm. pretty mm. quickly and were never on yeah. Eldar's level. And then I stopped playing. And then as yeah. soon as I bought the Necron army, I was like, oh yeah, Harlequins. I was just going to paint them as Harlequins. And I was like, shit. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Yeah. And it was too late, and I could have had like, I mean, it would look pretty sick as well, wouldn't it? Like three Wraith Knight Harlequin like things. That would be serpents. really, really cool. Yeah. yeah wave cool serpents, Queen, like serpents and stuff. Yeah. It would have, yeah. It would have looked sure. sick, and then I just didn't get any. Mm. And then, and then, and then Necrons were nerfed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the yeah. game's kind of silly at the moment, so um, it, which is a shame. Um, oh, he's not. He's not trying to hit the ball. Sure. I might have gone back a little bit here because there's nowhere to go yeah. forward. No, unless he wants to go through the middle, but that's horrible as well. I, mean, I guess you could blitz this ball. Yeah. And go out there. He's gonna have to take the uh, dodge off with the blitzer up front. At least it's a blitzer. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, I mean, the temptation here is to obviously just go through the guy in the middle, but the guy in the middle is stand firm, so I don't think it's a good plan. And, uh, he can't get it safe either. Because mm. then he, he'll probably have to, he might have to use a reroll on the. Yeah, he can't go the through blitz. there. He, you, no. you either blitz the strength five ball and regroup yeah. down here, or you just score. Like, he's just got to score yes. now. He's not giving himself yeah. any options. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm wrong. Oh, that's not a great play, Tom. But he, he would have dub scored the GFI at least. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dub, dub won the GFI. If that's how you believe the dice work. Yep, correct. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't gone forward in the end zone. That's, that's no. weird, isn't it? I think and, the play was definitely uh, to go back. Yeah. I mean, like, that play would have been great if you, like, you know, I don't know, broke armor or got a removal on the bull, but, you know. Mm. That's kind of a wish and a prayer like I'm I don't know what he sure does it's great <laughs> yeah does he base up the stat, the dirty player now so that he can get a woundy and he's just, just got to hope he gets this 3 plus he, he goes here where like, he just, he just he goes there the and plan. 
pass to put the three plus, but he's got his rerolls gone now as well. Yeah, he's just got he's just got to do it. Mm -hmm. Like he's got he's got no choice. He's got no fans. Mm -hmm. Want some? I'll give it you. You got no fans. <laughs> he's hung over though, but yeah. Also, this bull is uh, oh yeah significant. So he's got to go there, go there, and then this guy has got to uh, cheer for Ian. He does. Today, Tom. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. He's going for this one day. I don't think... I mean, it's good if you roll the power, I guess. And it was a t it did make it a 2 plus rather than a 3 plus, and he rolled the 2, so great play. Yep. However, he needed the power, didn't he? Like, even the yep. push wasn't good enough. He just needed the power there, so that was probably the wrong play. Yep. But never mind. Hmm... Needed that JFI as well. Oh, and then just does a four and plus dodge. Ah, oh, well, there you go. End the fucking turn, man. There you go, easy. Yeah, yeah might not even need the next one. The next one's better, no, obviously, but he might It's better, need but it. he doesn't necessarily need it. Yeah, there you go. Fwa! Fwa! Yeah, that's alright all of a sudden. Yeah, just get the 4 2 2. Easy. Yeah, just, you know. It's funny because the other dice were so much easier, and then it was just like fixed with the 4 2. Yeah. Uh, you can throw this ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, yep. three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Yeah, so it'd have to be. Yeah, it's, that's pretty easy, isn't it? Still two plus because you strength five. Yeah, it's so good. Like. Oh, no, no, it'd be a double dodge. It'd be a double dodge, so. Okay. So, yeah, better to free the wrestler. The wrestler. <laughs> that's a good point, Greedy Banger. Yeah, high probability. That the bread mask is getting the dice seed oh. sent to him via vibrating anal beads. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we. I think that's the only logical explanation. It 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 has to be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know where everybody's getting all these fang like you know expensive and cool um, anal beads. Minor shite. <laughs> These newfangled anal beads. <laughs> mm. Oh, we've got all the three plus. Puts in the reroll. Wait, 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 what was. Wait. Okay, yeah, he, so he, he was double basing and then he thought, nope, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but at least, he, at least he spotted his, you know, mistake as he found yep. and fixed it. Yeah, fair play. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine having to listen to conversation with your ears, watch a game with your eyes, and then play the game according to anal vibration. <laughs> yeah. That's how the pros do it, tilt. Or lilt, lilt. Yeah. Oh, so, so he was he's called Tapioca King, and then somebody called him Tropical King, so I started calling him lilt. <laughs> Fair enough. In case anybody's wondering. I was and, a little uh, bit confuzzled. In, uh, in, in, um... In response, he's got a, a he's got a minotaur on his chaos team called Kowlon. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> it is very good. Yeah. <laughs> it gave me a good giggle. <laughs> so yeah, so Tom's just got a dodge here, hasn't he? He's got a reroll. One, two, three, four, five, six. And he gives the chops a three turn. But yeah. There's no there's no option. Like, there's no way to no, stall it. I don't think so. No. Like there's a bull free. <laughs> like you can run back here, but there's a bull completely free. So yeah. It's just Gets the three and in he goes. Yeah. Three turns back is uh, not where he would have wanted to be. No. But at least he scored it, and he's got two shitheads to put on the line with his uh, with his star players. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Who's receiving? <laughs> oh, God. Way. <laughs> <Well, hey. laughs> Dimmy's only recently learned of pegging. <laughs> Indeed, he's only just learned about DP as well. <laughs> <laughs> Marbles? <laughs> you always get pegged at marbles. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
<laughs> so Tom keeps both of his star players for the second half. Glorious. Um, no, I won't which give does mean in. he's got his uh, good I'm runner victorious. on. Uh, I, I suppose defend. he's moved six and he's got I guard and he's defend. got bludge. The bludge isn't great. Um, I'd almost have a rookie beard on instead. He's got a rookie blitzer, is it? That's off there. Uh, oh, it's off. Yeah. Run a long beard. No, there's a long beard and a, and, a, and a yeah. Okay. So he's putting out the full, the full, fully powered team. Uh, thank you very much, DCH Brooklyn, for staying fantastic for 13 glorious months. Oh yeah. And there's a blitz. Look at that. Imagine Look if he that. played the bomber, he could have just he could have just thrown a bomb and then thrown a bomb won. straight away, yeah. And then, uh, but uh, also, I mean, he's got his cool blitz, his cool runner on. So if there's a, if there's a lad to get under the ball, tis him. Mm hmm. So just basey, base, base, base. This bumper, I'm Merman. Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's a tricky one because he's got stand firm on the side that he wants to go through. So he's got stand firm there, or strength five. Yeah. So it's going to be very tricky to try to break through. Uh, you know, it's almost as if um, uh, Ayrville has set up against a, a Blitz defense before. Yes, outrageous, isn't it? Actually outrageous. setting up an amendment Blitz yeah. formation. Unbelievable. Against against Dwarves as well. And it actually came up and he's actually fine. Yep. Because this is all grand. Yep. I mean, a little, for, little, little bit fortunate that it was that side. I think with the strength five there, arguably you would put the... Um, the stand firm on the side with the weaker bull. Well, I mean, you could have just moved this stand firm over as well, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, but, yeah. but I mean, we're nitpicking on a small little issue. As it yeah. was, it's it's solid enough to make you go, nope. Yep. I cannot get through. <laughs> he did get the kickoff event signal beforehand. Yep. <laughs> he ah, got, there you go. He got he got ten vibrations, so he knew what the mm -hmm. kickoff result was going to be. He would have preferred a riot, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> Good lord. Looks like Greedy, Greedy Bang is really fitting in in this community. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's an alt, isn't it? We just don't know who's alt. Yeah, it's, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's HTK, right? No, it's not. HTK was talking at the same time as Greedy Bang. Yeah, it's, it's, and it's entirely impossible to, to, to log in on two different devices. It's it entirely impossible to log in on two devices. So it's definitely not HTK. Or even in two windows on the same PC, it's completely impossible. We could ask uh, Greedy Banger if he likes milk first. <laughs> to put milk first <laughs> when you're making tea, and uh, and then we'll know for sure. We could ask we could ask Greedy Banger if they like uh, tea. Uh, no, not tea. If they like Arsenal or Spurs, and then he just couldn't mm. lie. Could he? he could not lie. He could never. He could never say up the Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there it is. Yeah, figured it out. Figured it out. Figured it out. <laughs> that chest Fuck you, Jimmy. Fuck you, Jimmy. <laughs> See, look, that's HDK. <laughs> <laughs> Completely different guy. Yep. Completely different. Completely different. Proven. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, I fucking. I had to fucking change fucking accounts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's give him a minute to change back to Greedy Banger. <laughs> what? No, I was here all along. <laughs> Greedy Banger comes back in out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> nice little okay. foul there. Yeah, pretty, pretty decent. Uh, didn't get any uh, momentum on the push through, though. I mean, he does, still does have the two turns, but and he does get the, the break tackle away. Um, but uh, not a huge amount of progress downfield made. Yep. Um, I think it's going to be an easy enough one for the dwarfs to stop this. Well, the problem is how many men he's got to commit to hitting this strength hit five, isn't it? And then that yeah. might leave him weak in the middle. And then plus he's got to control this side because of this bull. So it's interesting. Mm -hmm. It's mm. an interesting little quandary he finds himself in. Isn't it? Hmm. Secret Blood Bowl stockfish that could produce. Yeah, that happened in Blood Bowl 1, didn't it? That you could predict dice and you could, well, not even predict, you knew exactly what was going to happen. And moving yeah, moving the players to different squares changed the dice seed and stuff, didn't it? So people would make random moves to make sure they killed your guy and stuff. Crazy. <laughs> mm. A 
cavity search. Yeah, yeah. We we need we need HD kit uh, to to view the streams naked in a box. <laughs> <laughs> Like he isn't already. Yeah, but he's got he's got to he's got to stream himself naked in a box. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Just sitting there, phone in one hand, jar of salt in the other. <laughs> this is impossible to tell what's happening, by the way, in Dizzy versus Dimmy because they've both got undead, and you know, I've got no idea who's receiving or which player is which on either team. <laughs> So, yep. Yeah. Uh, is it for uh, like? Is it for a position? I don't think it is. Like, because they 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 both didn't have particularly good first days. I know Dizzy was pretty high, higher up than him. Oh, I thought you were talking about the pegging that would happen afterwards. Uh, no, that's just you know. <laughs> 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 Uh, no, it's you know. I mean that. Yeah, the, yeah. It's just just for fun now, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, because people have paid for their tournament, so so they yeah. have they play all the games, don't they? Unless you're Kelsey, in which case you say, "Fuck this, I'm going home." <laughs> yeah, which you know happens. Fair enough. Hmm. Yeah, it's fair enough. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not hating on Kelsey at all. It's completely reasonable. Oh. He's, he's got the reroll to throw in anyway. No, oh, but did he have to? Ooh, like he had the he had the runner behind, right? Over there, yeah, exactly. I don't know how big a deal it was. I guess this was enough. stunned, though. I guess the fact that this was stunned made made this more more enticing. Mm. And he's got because he's got stunned firms here, hasn't he? Which is nice. But yeah, yeah like, but I mean, then just, just left move there and put that guy over. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Interesting. Um, oh, oh the double skulls, yeah. and then he gets the wrestle. Yeah, and those few times you're delighted, you rolled the fucking one in eighty-one. Like, yeah. Still, uh, I mean, he can get through, <laughs> but it's a tricky dodge. Like, uh, no, it's not a two plus, but it's you know, to get the ball to him first, and then before he fucks off. Oh, here he is. Hello, calcium. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Are, are you home? Is, did you did you did you go home last night? I know you said you were going, but uh, I thought you might have had a change of heart. I went home late last night. Glorious. Fair play. Whoop. Doesn't even beat him. No. You could dodge again. You could go back and just to dodge. You go back and dodge just to you know assert dominance. Yeah. I mean, you might as well do them, right? It's a one in thirty-six, but you might as well Glorious. do them. Glorious. No, uh, but nobody can get around in front of push and back victorious. And I will well, it's, it's, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've got to do one yeah, anyway, so you might as well yeah, have yeah, done yeah. it now. Yeah. Might as well have done. I would have done. Uh, yep. You might as well. Sure, you might as well. <laughs> sure, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> Oh my god, HTK gifted a tier 1 sub to his alt. <laughs> Might not be his alt. <laughs> Greedy banger. <laughs> Thanks, me. <laughs> no problem, mate. You seem a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. Well done. Oh, fantastic. Thank you very yeah. much, HTK. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Right. Um, so what does he do here? Uh, so the yeah, it's a double GFI for the runner to base. Mm. And uh, yeah, they're all beards on the line. One of them the, is that that's a blitzer in the blitzer, middle. Yeah, there's a blitzer there. Yeah. So yeah. I'd say you probably dodge double GFI and then you dodge one D. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and you want to get the you want to get at least make ball they do this first because then at least you have somebody on the ball well, to yes. make that uh, and it's to make it a one day as well. <laughs> yes, but also to. Um, but well, yes, even even if this guy was strength five, mm -hmm. you could argue because you've got a dodge, you might want to just try and base it first. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. No re rolls. Dodge one day. You have to put in a scoring threat now as well. No. <laughs> <laughs> this would definitely be a canoring threat. 
He can't even do it though. But I mean, if he was no. move five, yep. th there'd be an argument for doing the GFIs first. It just would. in case he failed. But, um... Or is he thinking about the wizard? He could he could whiz now, right? He could whiz mm. now. Because the problem mm. is, if he fails this dodge, he can't whiz. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, there isn't another turn anyway to turn eight anyway. Oh, he does a one do. There isn't even another turn, so yeah, it would have really been a canonical threat. <laughs> yeah. I just Giving thought you were right. saying it because a scoring threat would have been fucking stupid, but it, it was yeah, literally it, impossible. Right, right. It wasn't yes. just fucking stupid, it was literally impossible. Yes. Yes, it was, it was, it was that. Um, oh, stand firm does a job. Mm. Yeah, really good job at that. Oh, that guy gets flood and pond. And only stun. Yeah. Using tech skull correctly there. He, he was. Great use of tech skull. Yeah. So, the blitz is in, and that does mean that this is going to be a 5 plus handoff. Yep. Does have the reroll for it? No. Oh. He's made it! Oh, he's made it. He got the five. Two plus to go. Bam. Don't, don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was because you'd said it last turn as well. Like, yeah, put in this GFI. Yeah. If he'd snake that GFI, that would have been pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, fair play. Got the five. Five me. He did five him. Oof, yeah. Boy, howdy. I would never get elf by chalk. I would never have a bull centaur roll or a long bomb pass. No. <laughs> Definitely oh, would never happen to me. Thank, thanks, Thor. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's lovely. really nice of you, man. Yeah. yeah cheers, thanks, man. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Well, he can still win this. He hasn't taken any damage hardly, but obviously his team is still worse, right? Like, he got a wizard yeah. and, a, and an apple and two stars. So, like, his team is significantly worse still. But mm -hmm. he's still in it, and he can maybe use this wizard to, uh, you know, in fact. Um, I Ravel is down a chalk blocker, so he is, yeah. you know he has won the half in in attrition at least. Has Tom Schnees? Nice kick. Mm. Good job, Boomer. <laughs> Timmy and Elp. Well, Elp is still banned, sadly. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. Uh, hello. How <laughs> you did? How's it going, Kaz? Good to see you, buddy. I, I thought I'd come and join you guys for the second half, because clearly I'm much better talking about Blood Bowl than I'm actually playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know that feeling, buddy. I know that feeling. <laughs> Glorious. You, you're joining us from Atlantis as well, apparently. <laughs> yeah, indeed. It's great that the, the Atlantis Chapa Eye is fully functional and... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, my apologies. I've moved the mic go. now. Oh, baby. Glorious. <laughs> it, was, it was above my monitors. Sorry. So I'm schoolboy error. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. Yes, yeah, fantastic to have you on, Kaz. Oh, bless you. Oh, yeah, this weekend was... <sighs> <laughs> I, 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 when I heard the sound, I knew who it would be. <laughs> I, I was. I was. Gonna, if, I, we needed, if we needed top commentary about Blood Bowl and Calcium was here, we should have his superior. <laughs> in in every yeah. single way, I think. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Penis girth, but not length, though. So you're still good there. <laughs> Apparently, Dibby got so drunk last night he lost his phone. Yeah, mm, I mean, second second weekend in a row he's lost his phone. Oh, Amazing. He's probably got he's probably done that at home too though and lost his house. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Can I just say it was actually worth it just to meet Dimmy. Dimmy is amazing in real yeah. life. Yeah. Um, it was just as well the whole of Derby shut down at eleven o'clock on Friday night because me and Dimmy were just warming up. <laughs> <laughs> we really were. Right, we we were in the zone. We were about four or five pints in, and we were in the zone, and we we could have quite easily stayed out all nice. night. Um, a Hellboy is exceptionally attractive. Actually, he's a good-looking guy. Yeah, um, I and mean, you can tell from his voice. Yeah, yeah, his his looks match his voice, um, and he's he's amazing as well. And obviously, Duderino that I've met a few times now was awesome. Yeah. Um, 
I met um, Miss Santa, Beltry. Santa she was very was lovely with her as well on the on the night. At the yeah, San, yeah, Santa is really cool as well, and Mrs. Santa, uh, yeah. Miss Beltry, um, Dizzy Bees didn't really speak to Dizzy Bees. Briefly said hello to K Fog. He's a lovely guy, big lad, isn't he? Big he is, lad. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I Andy's three really, Andy's about, really cool. About K Fog. <laughs> Andy's really cool. Very tall. I was I a lot he taller. He is quite than I tall, expected. isn't he? Yeah, everybody yeah. says that he's 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 a tall man. Yeah. I, yeah, I he's know quite... three things about Andy Davo now. <laughs> 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 he's very tall. He he he's a Blood Bowl streamer, and mm -hmm. people are mixed on his uh, reviews generally. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> no, he he was really nice. And to be fair, most of the people I met be up there fair. were really nice. Um, you know, um, but other than that. Table talk can suck my balls. <laughs> it, could, it can be quite frustrating in person, yeah. I, uh, it was really weird going from Bumble and Blood Bowl 2 predominantly to tabletop. You know, there's there's lots of little rules. And unfortunately, in my second game, I had a bit of a follower of the rules. And I'm, I, like I said yesterday, I made a mistake about not activating my ogres, uh, my ogre and my troll. But it was clear what I was doing. Right. There's no... I would have 100% never hit my opponent with what he hit me with. You know, I would have said to my opponent, look, I'll, at the very least, I'll let you roll to reactivate him. You know? Yeah, so, um, so what what happened? You, you so, just forgot to activate him. Yeah, so the previous turn, I, I rolled a crap ton of ones against this guy as well. It was, um, I took Renegades, which was another massive mistake. <laughs> yeah, they're um, pretty shit, aren't they? <laughs> they're, they're fucking awful. Yeah. Um, and I'd never played with them before. So going to a tournament with a team that A is crap and B yeah. you've never played with before is not a great idea sure. um anyway the previous turn i rolled two ones on my uh, one on my troll one on my ogre so they were both um bonehead and really yeah. stupid respectively and in following turn i caged up with them because they were um, a square apart from each other so i used them as the front of my cage caged up the ball finished my turn mm -hmm. and the guy started moving to sort of delay my cage and then he went oh you didn't activate your big guys. And I went, oh, shit, no, I didn't. He went, well, I'm going into your cage then. And I'm like, I, I at the time I said, okay, yeah, whatever. You know, sure. um, because it was my mistake. Yep. But I can guarantee you now I would have said to my opponent, look, it's clear what you're doing. Yeah, I'll, of I'll course. Let, at the very least, I'll let you roll to see if they activate. Mm -hmm. You know, that literally gave him the game. And, yeah. and, 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 and then he started like getting super patronizing, uh, you know, so... <laughs> I like that he feigned surprise like he didn't notice the second that you hadn't done it and Indeed. had been like grinding his teeth waiting for his turn to be able to yeah. do that. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. oh, I just noticed you didn't <laughs> activate them. Yeah, you've known for 10 minutes, you piece yeah, of yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so I by turn seven, I'm like, fuck tabletop. Fuck this shit. I've had enough. I'm having zero fucking fun here. And, and he was like, oh, well, oh, this happens to us all. We all get bad games. I'm like, mate. Yeah, but I don't normally drive 220 miles to get shafted by Nuffle. You yeah, know? sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, normally, normally I'm sat in the comfort of my own home and I get over it very quickly. Um, mm -hmm. You know, that doesn't normally cost me like 70 quid in electric because I've got an electric vehicle. So I had to charge twice to get up there, you know? Um, so, yeah, cheap, still cheaper than fuel, but yeah. nonetheless. What kind of um, electric do you have? The third, the third guy I play. I played the last game of the day. Yeah. Oh, sorry, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said, what type of car have you? Do you have? Oh, a Kia Nero. That's exactly what I said. Yeah, what it was yeah. it? <laughs> yeah, Kia Nero. Um, so, courtesy of my employer, so I wouldn't be able to afford nice. one. <laughs> but um, yeah, the third game was great. I played uh, a high elf coach, and we had a lot of fun. And that's how I envisaged tabletop. You know, not really caring about the result, it being about meeting someone and just enjoying Blood Bowl. Um, yeah. But a lot of people up there are real try-hard twats, and I don't want to play. I don't want to play tabletop like that at all. Mm -hmm. If I want to try hard at Blood Bowl, I'll play CCL. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Wasn't this a casual thought... tournament that Davo put together, though? Or no, I mean, is that not, not? Is that irrelevant to some gamers? I guess. I I, I don't know that there's such a thing as a casual. Yeah, you fair know, enough. event to be honest. I, I don't think there is a casual NAF tournament, you know. Yeah. Um, a lot of them take it very, very seriously. Um, um, I was pretty pleased because my miniatures were better painted than nearly everyone else's up there, which was pretty yeah, fucking nice cool. Was there a prize for painting? No, I, oh, yeah, there probably Not was today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
and, and do you know what? It is what it is. I, I as I say, the social aspect, the Friday night, yeah. best night I've had in ages with yeah. Dimmy and you know, dude and Santa. Um, yeah. so much fun and. Yeah, it was just the second game that ruined it for me. And anyway, dude spoke to me. I was in the hotel. I'm in an iron, twisting myself up in knots as to whether I was going to stay or not. And it was making me feel shit, basically. You know, it was what, getting me leaving? down. Um, no, for, for the prospect of actually playing today, you know, and leaving as well, because I'm not a quitter. I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to quit um, and be that guy, you know. Mm. But dude arena phoned me up and he said look we've had someone else drop out and if you decide not to go then i don't have to play tomorrow either and i said well look on that basis yeah oh, i'm God. i'm happy to you know i'm um, dude dude arena was wonderful about it he said look Kaz, you know and and dimmy was dimmy said look i get you mate i understand mm -hmm. um i just said to him i said this is not fun for me and i'm too old to do stuff that isn't, that isn't fun, fun. Yeah, yeah yeah you know um so but as i say everyone nearly everyone i met was really kind but this Ooh. this coach I, yeah kelsey yeah. i have a question for you though I, is, yeah. uh, you know it sucks the results didn't go your way what is the status of your shot at best sportsmanship for this one <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know i was pr i was i was nice to the i, I was reason well, i was nice to this guy i i almost took <laughs> You it didn't murder him, so, I didn't you know. punch someone. <laughs> Getting spit in his face. You know. yeah, was yeah. there anyone there you couldn't have beaten a fight? Other than probably k No, no now, one. k probably no doesn't one. know how to fight. Oh, oh Friday night, um, I don't know who it was, but Dimmy might know his name, but a Swedish coach, um, about the same height as me, so about 5'11", 6 mm -hmm. foot, <clears throat> quite a plump guy. Um, we, were, we were in a pub upstairs in this pub, and talking about blood bowl you know because nerds You're at a blood bowl and, event, yeah. yeah yeah and i looked up and i said oh well all, all norse coaches are knobheads right you know obviously in fun yeah <clears throat> and this swedish guy come up to me got right in my face and he said you calling me a knobhead <laughs> right <laughs> and Swedes i, I really consider themselves norse though like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he was no, he was coaching Norris for the weekend. I would imagine. Oh, I thought the mix-up to... was that a Scandinavian thought you were nah. talking shit about Scandinavian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it could have been that. It could have been the fact <laughs> he was just playing Norse, or it could have been the fact he just took umbrage to what I said. But either way, I, I I laughed it off and I played it with a bit of humor. Then he said to me the other words. He said, "Fuck me." He said, "I'd have fucking twatted him." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah, probably, Dimmy was probably, like, probably you know better that you didn't. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, you know what? Again, um, you know, there are as much as sometimes you would like to go down that road. There are multiple laws against that now, so it's a really, really bad idea. Your violence is not the answer, yeah, well, especially um, if you're going to be playing blood bowl with them the next day. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A little yeah. bit. Well, he wasn't. <laughs> no, I, I did say to him actually. I said, if I meet, if I, if we draw each other, I said I'm going to pitch clear. Nice. And he said, no, you're not. And I said, yeah, I am. I, anyway, we had a pint on it, you know, but so we sort of played it off like that. But Dimmy was like, oh, mate, he said, where I come from, anyone does that to me, he said, they're getting it. And I'm, uh, you know, and I'm, so and I'm like, ah, oh, Dimmy, I'm, I'm too old for that shit. Uh, like, so I'm the gonna... wizard has worked and he's managed to get two dice in the ball here, has Tom? Yeah. 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 Sorry, I've I've really pissed all over this game a little bit, haven't I? For the last no, you're it's, fine. It's, sorry, it's just Tom. It's anyway. just Tom. <laughs> It's Charles versus Dorf, so you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm bringing a bit of excitement to it then. Um, <laughs> well, but... lucky scatter for Tom, really. There's lots of places yeah, where his yeah. runner could have got got around it. Yeah, indeed. but it's going to be pretty there's... hard for the Charles to get the ball. It back. is this, this, <laughs> the stun is really really nice, and being able to get this yeah. uh, that stand firm, being able to stand there is pretty mahusive. Yeah, the BD, uh, there. Yeah, dodge off this glitter at the end. I think so. Yeah. So yeah, very interesting. Lots of could lots of the, dwarves uh, around the balls. Could take the one D to get the push, but it's not really. It doesn't really help. Mm. Take the one D first. Oh, we can get this guy around and do the two, make it two, and then and then take the, and then it's not a dodge. Yeah, I didn't like oh, that it's, as it's much still as a dodge, getting, yeah. I didn't like that as much as just getting the, the runner yeah. down and then maybe getting the dwarf down. Does mean it's a double dodge really for the ball. Oh yeah, he's, he really rates it. Yeah, I, I, I definitely would have done that because uh, taking the vote down meant that at least he was sandwiched in and it was going to be a double dodge to get him out. But I suppose with this guy around the back, he can make it very difficult. Oh, oh I have one more. Oh, not if he does the GFI. 
That that felt a bit unnecessary. <laughs> I actually have another question for Calcium about yeah, the go tournament. On. Uh, if someone was interested in a Chaos Renegades army, Calcium, where along the M1 <laughs> would they find <laughs> yours? <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should say that, Skurametso, because I've actually, I'm I'm never going to play Chaos and Renegades again. But they they were like a Masters of the Universe themed team cool. and i could sort of recycle those players into a different team like humans and stuff but i was thinking should i sell them on ebay why not your time and effort into them and i mean you know don't say don't say never like i mean you know the addition rules change and different things happen and you know there's there's definitely yeah. going to be other times when you'll be able to play them and they may not they like they, they may not have worked very well in this rule set because it's the durable rule set which is why I'm, I'm i know that they're bad in that but there are definitely other events that i've seen where uh, that uh, the rules packs where i've read and said oh that's a really good rules pack for them so. And and that, that's the thing, um, because I was so inexperienced with the tabletop, I didn't really put any thought into my team design, sure. and there was a lot of block spam um, yeah, on yeah. teams, you know, and so I, I took a couple of dirty players, and I put Claw on my Mino, you know, and I, I went there with a theme. And wow, you went full tabletopper, didn't you? You really did, yeah. <laughs> you never Fil go full tabletop. <laughs> what, what happened? Yeah. You, you went as a filthy fucking hobbyist, is what happened, yeah. right? And yeah, then, exactly. And you, met, yeah. you met some guys playing tournaments, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and yeah. yeah, real blood bowl. And do you know what? I, I just don't want to do that. As I say, if I want to get if I want to get my fix a competitive blood bowl, I'll play CCL. You sure. know, um, yeah. And I, I was just there for fun, and it became very unfun very quickly. So yeah, it, it, it I, is, I it's, a, it's a problem with um, with with any type of tournament. We we discussed this a little bit earlier on, and the same thing can happen in any of the tabletop games, really, uh, or any of the you know playing Magic or something. You find out that your deck just doesn't work, or maybe what yeah. you think is really really good, it's just because you've been playing it in the meta of you and your friends. And At you least it's just your seen. deck that doesn't work. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's nothing, yeah. nothing worse than arriving and going out for you know a whole weekend, and all of a sudden your deck doesn't work. Uh, it's just terrible. That, that and the, that and the rules not seeing as well. You know, I'm, I just got no time for that. Yeah, um, for sure. Uh, you know, it's 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 quite rare. Like it's it's unfortunate. It's quite rare that something like that would happen. And uh, most of the time, like you, yeah, it, most of the time, what would happen is somebody would go like, yeah, just we'll, we'll just roll them now. Yeah, um, yeah. I, and if I if I like, failed, I, them, I would, I would have made that, you roll them yeah. before the end of your turn because I would have yeah. spotted it, and I would yeah. have made you but, roll them then. So, yeah, this um, chap beat me one nil, and that was the reason why he beat me one nil. You know, yeah, so for sure, yeah. um, the first game actually we played on a dark elf pitch, and I couldn't see any of the squares. The dark elf pitch is it's so bad; bad. Yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> I left yeah. a get I, I left a space cadet style ba gaping hole in mm. my line. Because I le legitimately couldn't see miss, I couldn't see the squares, and that's so the, the, the the ship the ship board. Yeah, it's yeah, so I, bad. I own that. I own that board. I've never actually played on it. I just yeah, I don't have it, it, and I was it's, like, it's, oh. it's I thought about painting the lines, like painting along the lines, but at yeah. that point, like just use the fucking green grass. It doesn't. Yeah. If you're not making your own pitch, what is it? Yeah, matter? bit yeah. of tipex. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was awful. honestly it's not it's not a terrible idea because especially if it's yours, right, and you own it, then I would yeah. get like uh, I would get a, I'd get a white sharpie out and just fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. all the yeah, lines sure. directly across it so you could actually use it because sure. it's a shame for you not to be able to use it. But, but at the end of that, Tom's you know, dice this turn. One sorry, yeah. sorry, Dude, Tom's dice this turn have been terrible. I do think he was a bit yeah. greedy though. I think he should have just put in the put in the runner to get the two D on this because it was pretty important to get the push for, to get the two D here. So yeah, like yeah. this 2D is cr absolutely critical. So I think yeah, he should. I think that was a, he obviously he wants to 1D and get a push and then get the 2D and then and then get the pickup. But I think he probably should for have sure. gone for it. And uh, but he did roll absolutely shockingly. And now this might be stabilization for the chops. Yeah, it looks quite likely that he's going to be able to get because all he has to do is knock that guy down and now this is just a two plus pickup and he can get around the other side. Um, Not a lot of time left. He can't, still, he, can't, he, can't, he can't get that far. Oof. Jeez, well, Tom's not gonna have any players in the way now. There's the second <laughs> apple, but yeah, it's down, down three guys now, right? Yeah. Oh, and he's got and an Agi Hobo as well to recover, so. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but where's the Hobo? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah. Does that, is that yeah, a bit potatoey? Yeah. I, I, I guess well, he, still, got he, still really. has, he still has some punches to do in a second. Yeah. Yeah. Better, so now, 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 now that square looks fine. Hard to believe this isn't gonna yeah. end. Yeah, yep. hard to believe this isn't gonna end with Tom having to make a four plus. 
<laughs> dodge here. Oh, no, it's bad. on the other way. Okay. Mm, I don't like that. Okay. Well, it's the same thing because he's still making the four plus dodge out for the yeah. for the blitzer. Four plus dodge almost guarantees overtime. Mm. So it was the same the other side. It was just a. It was just. It was just more four plus dodges. But this is pretty much the same. <clears throat> um, could have gone here. You could have stood here. Yeah. Oh, could he? Could he chain free the the dwarf blocker on the top left there by now it's red dice I guess but yeah. if he can fill that square and then block up with the stand firmer he can free that dwarf but I think it's all reds. I think by the time you take the, the four plus, plus oh, yeah, one, no, oh yeah he stands firm one yeah beam. he's what he if, stands if you get that, oh shit that he's stand firm yeah he, he just comes Sorry. around but then you get that guard free anyway so the guard yeah, can yeah. just come around the top so. It's hard to it's hard to it's hard to make out who actually has guard and stand firm. Oh, I guess you can just assume everyone has guard. But. There we go. Yeah. Put in now. Yeah, if this was if this guy wasn't stand firm, wasn't stand firm, then, then yes, you could have put him there, and then you could have yeah. one beat yeah, him yeah, yeah, yeah. away, and then yeah, that would be nice. But he's freed yeah. this guy up anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah that was nice. Got the one deer, any so. Yeah, and he can double GFI, and then he can he can get a follow up hit on him, right? So. Mm-hmm. Yep. The GFIs have definitely not gone wrong for him thus far. No. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of the one dice lads, yeah. They've been great. Yeah. Yeah, so he does go that, yeah, that angle. Does, yeah. Oh my god, another, another skull. That's another skull, yeah. He gets the push at least, so it is into another one die. And does well, he want to show uh, the one die? No, no, no it, it's, it's, yeah, oh, yeah, it's not it one D, is it? Yeah. Well, that's guard anyway, so he can't do that. He's got to cancel this, which he can't. So. Can't do. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's fine. Yeah, maybe he just stays there. Off hill. Yeah, I, just I mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it is it's turn 14, firm. and he's got a lot of place to go, so, mm. yeah. Yeah, do nothing with him, because otherwise you're giving that hobo an out, in you? Mm. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, maybe he shouldn't have dodged there. Maybe he should have one d yeah. Not that it would have yeah. worked. But <laughs> maybe he should have one d just try and get a power. Yeah. Maybe not even one d just sit there, no? Yeah, just maybe sit there. Well, uh... Maybe sitting there isn't enough, you know? Mm -hmm. So... If you think if you think the situation isn't good enough, like if you think the board position isn't good enough, yeah. then I think you probably improve it more by palling him than you do by yeah. dodging this guy. Though I guess by dodging that guy, he could have then made it a one D, right? I guess that was. The I same guess a, thing. a successful one D on that guy would have. Or does this guy have stand firm? No, he doesn't have stand firm. So successful one D on that would have prevented the three die. Mm. Ooh. That might be it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. yeah. <laughs> I mean, he was lucky with the the wizard was pretty good and got the thing down and everything else as well. A little bit unlucky with the the thing, but yeah. So, yeah. But he's getting banged down now as well. Yeah. Tom, Tom, one of the few remaining, has played in uh, every single season of uh, CCL. That's right, yeah. Maybe deserves a little better. Yeah. Well, he's playing dwarves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't actually deserve anything. No. <laughs> you that much. Just, actual sympathy maybe, for him. Yeah. Maybe, a, maybe, a, uh, maybe an intervention is what you deserve. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tom. Could oh, speak of the devil. Hey, Tom. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, maybe there's, maybe there's a few things that were a little bit. I mean, the dice were shit though, weren't they? So you know. Yeah, the dice are pretty shit, but uh, but yes, I think that's a good attitude to have. That maybe maybe there were some questions about some stuff. But, um, yeah, you don't watch the vod, uh, not because we said anything mean, just because we didn't say anything at all. <laughs> yeah. I, what? Yeah. <laughs> watch the vod if you wanna if you wanna learn about calcium's love of blood bowl tabletop. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm. I hijacked the second half, and my apologies for that. So, uh, but I, I, I messaged Jim yesterday saying, "For fuck's sake, Jim, whatever you do, do not have blood bowl at Jim Con, please." <laughs> <laughs> I think Jim Con blood bowl would be fucking great, other than the fact that it would take away from you know doing things that aren't blood bowl. Mm. But uh, I think everyone attending Jim Con would have a pretty good time playing blood bowl with each other. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think. I mean, I know, I've... I know. If I were there, I would because beating calcium is always fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, my my tabletop record right now is something like four <laughs> percent. <laughs> Can you get relegated in NAF? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, well, yes, you can get well. Sure, your, your score can go low enough for people who give a shit about your score to 
make fun. <laughs> but like, you know, you'd also have to both be interested in having a score, be interested in it dropping, and give a shit about anybody who pays attention to that. The first guy I played yesterday was quite pleased that he absolutely outplayed a streamer. Um, you know, nice. and yeah, I you know, but I, I couldn't I couldn't really pay any more attention to the blood bowl as opposed to his forehead that was so big it needed its own international time zone. You but, should have uh, offered. You should have offered to autograph it. Yeah, honestly, he was like Ginger Gandalf with a giant forehead. Nice. But um, anyway, he, he was all right until he said, "Oh, well, I outplayed him there," and I'm like. Yeah, mate, I just made a bunch of mistakes. I sort of outplayed myself, really. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well done, you Blood Bowl superhero, honestly. <laughs> but no, I, yeah, the table tie, it was just really too competitive for me. Um, I'm, not, I'm not interested in that, uh, you know. So I mean, I'll, stick, I'll, I'll stick with the competitive commentary that we have <laughs> <laughs> it, is a little, it, it is a little embarrassing to beat you in a game of blood bowl and then like crow about it like just come on act like you've been there before you don't have to talk about <laughs> beating you in a match over and over and over again you know it's, it is what it is there's yep. there's there's levels to it Skuro, isn't there you do it with class and panache you know <laughs> so uh you know it is it, that much I, I can absorb it that much more but um i'm still going to do you in the playoffs this season are you in the playoffs this season I mean, yeah. I should be. I, I should be if if I live long enough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I do live in America. Anything can happen. Oh so, uh, yeah, there is that. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think I think I should, but uh, we won't meet in the playoffs because we're in different divisions. So we'll have to have a, a rematch of the uh, the championships. Oh, HMP. Yeah, could meet in the finals. Could meet. In HMP. The finals. Oh, what, are, what are what are you <laughs> even uh, what are you even playing? Dwarf. Me, dwarf, dwarfs. Yeah, I went easy mode this season, didn't I? So. Other than Crystal Hunter doing what Ready Crystal HMP Hunter does. Oh, baby! Oh, wow. Was it Kosh? No. No. Oh. Yeah. Well, I was go. about to give... I was about to make comments about, uh, you know, Tom not having made them three dice, but, uh, you know, who gives a shit? Ah, oh, Steve! The, the, the crowd um, enjoyed that HMP attempt. Yep. <laughs> Let's wrap up the YouTube video before yeah. we organize our film matches. Um, uh. <laughs> MVP for Barrick Farblast, pointlessly brilliant. Um, and yeah, well done, Iravel. Did everything right, didn't he? Um, he did. Tom did a lot of things in the match. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you know, he nearly, he nearly, he nearly got the win with that wizard, didn't he? You know that that was yeah. nearly, nearly came good. But his, his dice were shocking, to be honest. So he, you know, he was going to struggle whatever he did I think um, so there you go commiserations Tom Schniz thank you very much Kalon, Calcium and Skurametso absolutely glorious having you all in the booth amazing and, pleasure uh, thanks Welcome. for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs> <laughs>